Hello everyone, today I'm here at Gaia with Maartje. Uh, can you tell us something about yourself, Maartje? Yeah, hi, I'm Maartje, I'm 23 years old and I'm a second year master's student in Geoinformation Science. Okay, and can you tell us something about um, the master Geoinformation? Yeah, Geoinformation is actually everything with spatial information, so everything that has a coordinate. Uh, we use, for example, satellite images or images collected by drones, or we can do something with programming. Okay, uh, well now Marty is going to show us the topic of her thesis so you can see what uh, you can do with geo-information in uh, practice. Yeah. So for my thesis I collected data from various social media platforms and I tried to create maps like these to show if people were positive or negative about this national forest. Um, okay, and uh, what do the red, yellow and uh, blue colors mean? Yeah, so the yellow colors show the outline of the forest I used. Mm -hmm. uh, while the blue colors, they correspond to locations where people were negative. Okay. While the red colors show hotspots where people were positive about the forest. Okay, and um, how did you use uh, geo-information in this uh, project? Well, actually, all the data I collected had a coordinate. So I was able to combine the sentiment of the text to a certain location. And I combined these with environmental data to see if people were positive about certain environmental characteristics. So for example, when people were positive on a high altitude, then all locations with a high elevation were assigned a positive sentiment. Okay, that sounds very interesting. Let's go to the next. With uh, Harm uh, Bartolomeus, and he's a teacher from the Master uh, Geoinformation, and uh, he's gonna tell us something that he's working on right now. Yeah. Uh... Thanks for introducing me. Uh, and, and like she said, I'm mostly teaching at the moment. So uh, I've got a lot of students now following uh, my remote sensor course. Uh, but next to that, well, our research uh, well, keeps continuing. And I think, well, the most interesting thing to tell now is actually the work we've been doing already for a couple of years on working with UAVs, with drones. Um, and one of the last things we've been publishing, you can't see it because it's on a poster on the other side of the camera. Uh, I will show camera. it. I show will it show it. it. Um, about work we're doing with one of our largest UAVs, which is a pretty huge instrument uh, where we have a laser scanner mounted underneath. And we use that actually to map forest structure. So for every individual tree in the forest, we want to determine how thick it is, how the branches are structured, um, how much biomass there is actually stored in those trees. And we do that now on a somewhat smaller scale, but actually we want to upscale these kind of studies to much larger areas to see, for example, in, uh, in tropical forests, how they are, um, how much carbon is being stored in those forests and how it's also varying spatially. And now let's fly a drone in the thesis room. Okay, well we showed you some fun activities that you do with uh, uh, study geo-information, but there's also something else very special about the study and that is the student community. We are really close and we, have, we drink coffee together every day and of course we have our weekly drinks. Love the weekly drinks. Um, okay, that's it. I had a lot of fun with uh, March today uh, and are you interested in studying geo-information at Wageningen University and Research? Then uh, take a look at our website, the link will be in the description below. And yeah, that's it. See you next time. Bye bye.